Hello and welcome back, this is Daniel and we'll continue where we left off in the first part of this character modeling tutorial. So we have our body uh, ready and we will start our improvements. So basically what we want to do is um, create a base mesh that is uh, detailed enough for us to start using it and we'll probably do sculpting later on this. Um, but Mainly our focus should be to capture all the important shapes with as little polys as possible. So let's very quickly um, do something for the neck. By the way, here the references are pretty off um, from each other. So you have to decide on using one of those. Because if you start balling here and it looks good and then you switch to here and it looks bad and you start moving it up and then you're here again and you start adjusting it, that leads to nowhere. So. Just make sure to decide on using one of those uh, mainly, and the other one you have to rather ignore. Just use as a help for um, the depth of the first one. Anyways, uh, use Control, Shift, and B for vertex bevel, which will give you something like the, uh, this here. And we'll delete the faces that we have selected. Now you see we have here some angons, uh, the ones with five vertices on the sides. We're going to fix that with the knife tool, just press K, and then make two cuts, one from here to here and one from here to here. That gives us, um, and also vortex smooth again, I'm pressing Q, that's just a uh, custom shortcut. Check out part zero for more information on that. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm turning off proportional editing, of course, that's in a way, and then I'm doing some adjustments on this. Now, what's good about this, uh, again, is it gives us lots of detail, even though our mesh around is really a low poly, and it's more than enough to create a uh, cylindrical and round-looking object uh, as for the neck. Now, I will create a second loop here, just to give this um, a little bit of this smooth transition I mean we'll need the, the details later anyways but it makes things easier if you start already to spend at least a little bit of time on these kind of things alright looks good um, let's continue oh sorry uh, by the way I'm not used to this keyboard yet uh, one is fairly new uh, so it will happen sometime that I enter the Windows Start page or something. Um, I can't help it. I'm doing my best. So let's see where do we continue. We still have to do arms and uh, legs, of course. We, we're not going to mold the, the all uh, uh, everything, but just the beginning of it. And also, we're going to add some details around the body. So let's let's start with the hands. I'm going to start by extruding this and just move it to down here somewhere. Uh, now look, try to look at this part from somewhere straight at it and then use Alt, Shift and S and type 1 to make this circle. I mean it doesn't work perfectly but it gives you a, point to, a good way to start out with. Uh, you want to make this kind of evenly um, spread circle thing, uh, but that should be good. We can also use the uh, smooth feature if it works, but I think in this situation it might be better to just do it by hand. So I'm just doing my best to make this planar and and a circle, and then I'm going to scale it down to the radius of the arm. So. You see we have still here this awkward shape. Uh, now we're going to use subdivisions, uh, the, the loop cut tool, control R, and then just place a loop here and move it up or something like that. You can just use all these new vertices to create and add more detail. And we'll do our best to get as much as we can. That looks fairly good to me. Let's just make sure to delete this cap. We don't need it for now. Um, 
yeah over here we have the shoulder plate we want to kind of make it look like there was something for later uh, that should be good enough <coughs> um, all right next we'll do something about the legs um, so first of all delete these two faces we're going to change a little bit here uh, we'll have to add some some topology here so first of all select these two edges and fill them um, then use a loop cut here and adjust the vertices in this way so we want to have them something like something like this and from the side view they should be already rather well positioned um, so we don't have any problems with that just maybe here we'll have this a bit more uh, flattened um, yeah so now we're going to add a couple of more loop cuts on all the sides so that we have um, let's see let's add two here and two there so in the end you have imagine this was the opposite of this here we have now here two and here two it should be an even number yeah it's it's eight you can read it from up here um, or, or you you will see we'll have we'll have to adjust that probably later because uh, next thing I want to I actually forgot to do is I want to add another loop cut here and I don't want it to mess with this front part or at least not for now uh, let's let's just delete one of these phases again to disconnect these and add a loop cut uh, the reason why I want to add a loop cut is on the one hand to be able to add a little bit of detail for uh, at the back like this and the other reason is of course down here we need some topology and like this we have a good chance of uh, getting more detail out of fear vertices. Um, yeah, we're at the moment quite working with a quite messy shape here, uh, so we'll have to clean up things over the time. Okay, but something like that should be what you have right now. Let me show you that quickly from all the angles so that you can follow along um, and I think that this one is now unnecessary this one loop but let's take a look um, yeah that's that's probably better without that one so yeah let's delete that one as well just so we have again uh, just these few words here to start out with and we can now get back to molding some new shapes so let's select these three and start molding the legs just the beginning we don't need more for now and let's adjust from the side view again and something like this should do for now um, Okay, but actually, we'll continue this in the next part. <coughs> uh, to me, that looks everything. Everything looks good so far. Uh, I think we're on the right track, and we'll continue working on this in the next part. Thank you for watching. As always, uh, see you next time.